Hey team, this is right on the heels of Microsoft revoking my MVP status. But hey, I'm always here to make new videos, and this is Excel Magic Trick 1860. Hey, one of my favorite parts of being a professor at Highline College is getting emails from students after they've graduated and they're out there in the working world. And Israel asked, hey, I have this description here, and I need to get the lookup value, look it up, and return the value. Well, anytime you have the lookup value embedded in some text, you have to extract it. And in order to extract it, you have to find a consistent pattern. Now, once we extract the lookup value, there's a known problem or issue. And we will deal with that. As I look through this, and Israel confirmed this, the pattern is, well, the first four characters we don't need. And then the actual code is always six digits long. So we can use the great mid function. That will extract some text, comma, and it needs to know the starting position. Well, four, it's the fifth character where we actually want to start. So we type five comma, the number of characters. Well, that code is always six characters long. Close parentheses. Now, I didn't do this as a spilled array, but Control-Enter, double-click and send it down. And sure enough, we have a visual cue that tells us what the problem is. Hey, this is aligned left. That's text. This is a proper number, and it's aligned right. If you try to use this as a lookup value, it's impossible to match text against a number. But no problem. Now, I copied this down and have everything highlighted. So rather than editing here and then double click and sending it down, I'm actually just going to F2 in the top cell and edit and then use the keyboard control enter to populate that formula all the way down. Now, anytime you have a text number, any math operation that doesn't change the value will convert that text number to a number. And I'm going to choose plus 0. That will do a math operation but not change the value. And control enter to populate that formula all the way down. And bam, now we have lookup values extracted. And they're not text, they're numbers. In the top cell, F2, that's going to be our lookup value inside of X lookup. There's our lookup value, that mid plus 0, comma, lookup array. We're trying to get a match here. Hey, this is a single input, single output formula, so I have to lock this. It's not going to spill. F4 to lock it, comma, return array. I want to get these values. F4 to lock it, close parentheses, populate it all the way down the highlighted range, Control Enter. And bam, we have extracted, then converted the lookup value to a number and looked up the correct value. All right, I hope that helps Israel and team. I'll see you next Excel magic trick.